just need like three of the same jumper. So then have like a work one, a nice one, and a, I don't know. One that gets worn. Your camera doesn't look very straight. Dude, put me on the spot. Um, my highlights of 22 were getting third place. Do you just want like dot point vibe? How do you want, how do you want this? Highlights of 22. Um, third place at national champs down here in Medina was definitely pretty up there. Um, I, yeah, I worked pretty hard before that um, with setting my bike up and actually training for once in my life. So that was cool for that to pay off um, at this trajectory, fourth, like fourth three years ago, then, oh sorry, fifth three years ago, fourth last year, third this year, should get second next year. And then year after that, I'll be number one. <laughs> um, yeah, that was definitely a highlight. Uh, that Notion project that I did was simultaneously one of the biggest highlights of my year and one of the most stressful periods of the year by far. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a highlight. Riding those jumps was, I think the single biggest highlight of the year was like that step up from Notion, riding that. Even though it was only for like a day that I properly sessioned it without cameras and just had fun on it, that was like, I've been chasing that feeling for a long time, so that's probably the top. Um, signed on with Lusty. Yeah. Been trying to do that for like six years, so that was a pretty big highlight. Uh, sold the bus. <laughs> that, that's a, at the moment, that's, that's up there. Um, what else? We've done some cool shit this year. Yeah, I've, there's been so many good things. Been riding my BMX heaps. Feel like I progressed a lot on that while I was on the Gold Coast. Signed some good contracts for next year, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, yeah, rode my bike a lot. That's that's a highlight. Didn't really do winter. National champs. Yeah. So far, that was my favourite. I think like just the stoke of that event because we. I hadn't personally been to an event for a bit. And like I said, I'd like put a lot of focus and effort towards that event, both like building behind the scenes, training, bike set up. Like I, that was like the most fun I had was at that event, I reckon. Yeah. Hmm, here, Medina. Yeah, Medina. A nightmare. <laughs> nah, it, 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 was, it was good, but it just didn't go to plan very much. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it was hot and sweaty. I, yeah, Kansas is a cool place, but I don't understand the hype, yeah. if I'm being totally honest. <laughs> Bus. Yeah, that was like a negative surprise though. I kind of want to feel like I can answer with a positive surprise. <laughs> yeah, the bus was like the biggest, <laughs> the biggest surprise. It went like completely the opposite direction to what I thought. Um, it was supposed to save me money and it just ended up costing me shitloads. Um, the best surprise other than that though was at the start of the year, I had no intentions of leaving Fox or signing with Lusty. So that was probably like a pretty cool thing that I didn't expect was gonna happen. That whole period was like, um, when I left Fox, I was like very ready to just do whatever I wanted for a while, like run my own stuff, just buy shit that I wanted um, until the right thing came along and just so happened that the right thing came along a lot sooner than I expected. So yeah, that was a good surprise. I've done three and a half thousand Ks in the last five days. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So lots. <laughs> I have no idea. It'd be hundreds of th like hundreds of thousands. I'm doing a, I've got some, some concrete, some very loose concrete plans. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm doing a full crankworks season. So we had every crankworks stop. Um, I just put this on the record, which is pretty hectic, but um, my goal is to go for like King and Crankworks podium. Um, so I'll be doing as many events as I can with probably like more intent and more focus on downhill and slalom. But then I'll do speed and style and pump track as well. Um, and then I'm pretty much just gonna fill in the gaps with whatever feels right. Yeah, so try and do some EWSs, try and do some World Cups, try and go to Fest Series or something. I'm gonna try and get an invite to Hardline. Yeah, just like, yeah. But definitely we'll be at all the Crankworks and then, yeah, just whatever else in Europe kind of fits in that gets me excited, or, oh, and Canada. But. Where are we riding? Here. Here. Yeah. Uh, hmm, that's actually a tough one. I would say probably, we're just at the top of the mountain and yeah. we've got only one break. Yeah. I would say front. Yeah, okay. Why's that? Because I know how to get down the hill in like where I reckon I could only use my rear brake and I would be fine. Yeah. yeah. Whereas a front brake would be like, it's, it's got more power, <laughs> but yeah, I think I think I'd only want to have a rear brake. Front tire for sure. Yeah. But it depends how blown up the shock is. Yeah, yeah, but like, is it is the shaft separated from the no, piston yet? No, yeah. It's still kind of moving. Okay, yeah, um, front tire for sure. Yeah. Bars. Or it depend, what bike are we on? It's like you're actually sitting down pedaling. If, if I'm sitting down pedaling, seat. Because yeah. like my bars are honestly are probably a bit off all the time. <laughs> um, but if I'm purely descending, then I don't, the seat can be a bit twisted, that's fine. Yeah. If my bars are off, I'd be pissed. Bars. Yeah. You can yeah, I mean, it depends how bent it is, but yeah. yeah. I, my, I've been like, yeah, I'm very fussy with my hands on things. Like, yeah. now that I'm running ODI grips, I've like pretty much got sent, like, or I've been just trying the whole range to like find yeah. which ones are like, yeah. Um, yeah, very fussy about bars and grips and stuff, so. Pedal's fussy about as well, but I would rather a bent pedal for sure. Yeah.